The Isle of Man weather is as much a part of the mountain circuit challenge as any one of its 200 plus corners or its 37 and three quarter miles. But when it clears, the roads are open for practice. Already top of the timesheets for the Super Twin race, James Cowton made good use of the weather on Monday to raise his game even further. I like to just uh, make progress on what I've done before, so uh, I keep going faster every time I go out and uh, faster than I was last year in everything that I've ridden, so uh, yeah, it's, it's going all right. I'd like to think I could uh, do fair in the, in the Super Twin uh, for the run, uh, the KMA Kawasaki. Uh, I'd like to think I could do all right in that, but uh, Hey, we'll just see what happens. Making a popular return to the island is Czech rider Camel Holland, star of the newcomers last year, and then a bit of a film star as well in Grand Prix Racer. Here he comes, Camel Holland is going to win at the Max Grand Prix. It's the best place in the world for the road racing, so it's great to be back, yeah. And they get also some sponsors in Czech, uh, I'm happy to be here back. But this has been a difficult practice week for everyone. Yeah, I had bad luck for to go out because uh, last session I was flagged uh, just after the first lap, so it could be uh, could be better. But yeah, so hope we'll do it today, do a good two laps, and yeah, we'll see then the races. Alistair Howarth has had a good start to his 2013 season and demonstrated his readiness for the Manx Grand Prix by being massively quicker than anyone else in the lightweight all through the opening week of practice. Here he is on a lap now. Stephen McKnight was up there at the top end of the practice leaderboard once again and looking for a repeat or an improvement on his 2012 junior Manx Grand Prix podium. He's already lapped faster than he did in practice last year, cutting 10 seconds off his time. Ah, so far as today is my best run, I reckon, in practice. Having come to yell at last month, changed gear on both bikes, suspension changed, everything's looking good. Though. But this year, Michael Sweeney is the man setting the pace in junior and senior classes. The ability to set up different bikes and be quick on both, one of the hallmarks of all the top riders and top of the time sheets before Monday's final check and everything is good to go. Sweeney was in relaxed mode as Monday's session drew to a close. We've had a steady enough week. Um, practice week has been good. We had a couple of problems Monday and Tuesday night with a clutch problem, but um, we seemed to get it sorted then. So Wednesday night then, times were good and we carried that on Thursday night as well, which is we were top of the leaderboard all week. So if we can carry that into Wednesday now, we shouldn't be too far away, please God. But practice has finished now, and on Wednesday, we go racing. The newcomers are out first, followed by the junior Manx Grand Prix, with super twins and lightweights on Friday morning, followed by the senior at 1.15.